taking the file access manual extract permissions, which currently is not in any restricted format at all, we can look at a new feature that has been introduced in Word 2013, and that is the ability to restrict editing for part of the document. And this is achieved by going to the review ribbon and along to restrict editing. Now this will open up a pane on the right hand side, allowing us to edit restrictions to some degree. Now the first option here is to edit formatting restrictions. So we can limit formatting to a selection of styles. If I put the tick in there, we then can click settings and actually remove the styles that we won't want people to use. Now obviously there's quite a lot of styles built in to any document because they're all based on the default template, but you can turn bits and bobs off. You can just choose the recommended minimum if you want, and then allowing Word to turn items off, or you can choose none, in which case they cannot change any of the style options. If I click cancel, we'll come out of there without making any changes. Remove that tick. The other option is part two, to edit restrictions. Currently, we allow only this type of editing in the document. Now, the default here is read only, so they cannot make any changes, but we could allow them to make edits to tracked changes, edits to comments, or filling in forms. Alternatively, we can select parts of the document, and this really is the clever bit, and allow users to edit those bits. So if I want them to be able to change, for example, these first two paragraphs, I would highlight those, come across here and say, everyone, can actually edit these bits, although the document default is to have no changes. Now, if you're on a network system, you can come into more users and add in users from your network to actually allow only those people to edit parts of the document. For the moment, we've just allowed everyone to edit this section. You can see in the document, it puts sets of square brackets and gray background on, so you can spot which bits are editable. Once you've filled in all your restrictions, so that's either restricting, formatting, restricting the editing, possibly expanding and opening up areas that you allow them to edit, you then need to come to step three, which is to start enforcing that protection. So we click yes. Protection method, this document is not encrypted. Malicious users can edit the file and remove the password. Enter a new password, or we use user authentication so that only authenticated users can access the document. That, however, will only work on a network system. So we need to, in our particular case, stick with a password. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, to keep the password easy. Okay. So now you can see that restricted editing has changed and it doesn't give you the one, two, three option because we've turned on the protection. And in the document itself, we can see the little black bits on the main document, but these yellowy background bits are the bits that you can edit. To find the next area you can edit, you click Find Next Region, and you'll find that there aren't any more, so it stops at this same one. And we could choose Show All Regions, but again, there's only the one because we're just producing an example. If you want to turn all of this protection off, you simply click Stop Protection. Now, if the panel is not there, then you need to firstly click Restrict Editing, and then come down to Stop Protection, at which point it will ask you for the password. And then you can come in and effectively turn off the editing restrictions. Do you want to remove the ignored exceptions? Yes, because they can edit the whole document now. So this is an additional bit of security with the ability to save the document with a password to open and a password to modify. Here we can take things a little bit further by restricting access to certain styles for formatting or to editing restrictions within the document, but allowing parts of the document to be edited. Whereas the global password on the document doesn't do that, it just allows you in to edit or not. Here you can restrict the documents read only, but then open parts of the document up for editing, which is the new document protection option on the review ribbon, right on the right hand side, restrict editing. Turn that off, panel goes, turn it on, and we're back in. So we can edit the restrictions and then enforce with the option for a password so that anyone trying to turn that protection off does require the password.